Todd Stern um, said that he rejected the idea of climate debt categorically because he he said the, the United States didn't know the effects of, of, of its emissions for, for many years. But now we do know, um, and the decisions are being made with the, with, with the full knowledge of the science. Um, how, how do you reconcile his statement with the fact that so much evidence has been presented and they're still rejecting? The self-denial. Uh, my, my personal opinion about some of Western politicians is that they are simply climate change skepticism in action. They say one thing, they do the opposite, the exact opposite, okay, with a zeal that you can never understand. Amongst them are some intellectuals and incredibly able men and women. That a professor like Stern or Todd Stern, the negotiator, refuses that is simply unacceptable. Let me just give you a simple fact. If a rapist rapes somebody and claims that he did, he did not know that, does that make him innocent? No. So the argument is not acceptable. What Todd Stern need to understand and need to accept is that grave injustice has been committed. Whether intentionally or not, it has happened. And what, is, what he is being asked of is to show a sense of solidarity with an acceptance that we all belong to one human family. I think that's what he is rejecting by denying the historical debt and historical responsibility. That's one. So it's much wider perspective than simply denying of history. The last few years have been very difficult because of that. And this is one of the challenges that that, that Obama has inherited. He's got the American sense of isolationism, of exceptionalism, a bureaucracy that is Bush incarnate, and then a notion that the only thing they are dictated is absolute supremacy as a state. When you put these factors together, you'll see what is happening.